Hello and welcome to NBC News. You are watching English Bulletin with me, Ratnakar. News in detail. The Nagpur Municipal Corporation and Orange City Water have planned to install flow meter at Ujjarinagar ESR by taking a 12-hour shutdown on Friday from 10 a.m. onwards to 10 p.m. on the same day. Meanwhile, NMCOCW has also planned to clean Omkar Nagar ESR at Dharmar Nagar Zone on November 27, 2020 under its ECR cleaning drive. Following this work, operations of four ESRs in Dantoli Zone, Vanjali Nagar Old ESR, Vanjali Nagar New ESR, Hanuman Nagar ESR and Rishimbag ESR will remain affected on Friday evening while water supply on November 28 will be with low pressure. NNCOCW have appealed to the citizens of the concerned areas to cooperate and if they have any complaints regarding water supply or need information, they can contact on toll-free number 1-800-266-9899 anytime. Concern over rising novel cases of COVID-19 in the city, the vigilant officials of excise department has decided to crack down on wine shops and restaurants over violating of guidelines issued by the district administration to contain the outrage of the virus borne disease. Paramo Sonon excise superintendent informed that the department has found six flying squads for surprise check. There have been a lot of complaints that are liquor shops and restaurants flaunting COVID-19 norms. The administration has issued the standard operating procedure, but the rules are being often violated. This has been attributed in rising cases of the pandemic. While I wish the excise department has formed six flying squads for surprise check and issued advisory to the officers to conduct strict action against violators, the superintendent said following guidelines is paramount to contain the spread of the pandemic. Filming on Mahametro allowing one of its employees to celebrate the birthday party of his daughter in a running metro train, Prashant Pawar, president of the Jai Jawan Jai Kisan organization, taunted and congratulated Mahametro for allowing permission to do so. But recently, we had also travelled with Bajan Mandals of the city, due to which the income of the Mahametro was increased, Pawar said. While addressing a press conference on Thursday, Pawar blamed that the flagship project of Rs. 8,600 crores now is even facing shortage of funds to pay salaries of employees. Now, to increase non-business revenue, Mahametro must allow birthday parties, marriage and other programs between 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. Pawar taunted, he predicted that Mahametro shall become a failed project in the next few days. He appealed to hand over the project to a private company before Mahametro became bankrupt. Nandan police arrested a drug addict and recovered four stolen cell phones worth Rs 40,000 and also seized a Bajaj Pulsar 220 motorcycle with the number MH49BN2956 from his possession. The total worth of the confiscated stolen goods is approximately worth Rs. 1,30,000. Identified as a Sham Ramnath Rajput, the accused person is a resident of the Lakhadagaj slums. Rajput and two of his accompanied were involved in stealing cell phones and other valuable items from the area. After putting his behind the bars, police personnel have launched a search operation for two of his complices who are involved in several criminal cases. The arrest was made by Senior Police Inspector Sandeepan Pawar, Constable Sanjay Shahu, Constable Devi Prasad Mishra, Constable Sandeepan Gavali, Constable Bhimrao Thomre and Constable Vinod Zingare under the supervision of Deputy Commissioner of Police Dr. Akshay Shinde and ACP Vijay Marathe. There are many famous markets in Nakhmo city. These places are always crowded, but the number of toilets in the city proportionate to the population is negligible. This causes inconvenience to the citizens, especially to the women. This is a matter of great embarrassment for the city, which is the second capital of the state. On one hand, the city is developing rapidly, but our city is also becoming unclean due to the lack of toilets for citizens. Taking this matter seriously, Mayor Joshi decided that from the mayor's fund, the toilets will be built in this entire city. What is special is that this decision has been implemented quite swiftly and procedural obstacles to complete this work were also removed immediately. At present, the process of constructing toilet is being implemented at various places in Nagpur City with the funds of Mayor Sandeep Joshi. Including Nagpur, BJP will win minimum three seats in the State Legislative Council, said Pravin Tarekar, leader of opposition, while talking to the reporters. While taking to at the press conference, he said the party is deciding to launch several schemes for employment of graduates. 
even those who wish to start their own business will be given aid. He said jobs are lying vacant due to reservation and various issues. We are now planning for implementing skill development programs which will enable unemployed graduates to get jobs. On government stability, he said NCP has to keep saying that MVA would last full five years, but no satisfaction is being experienced by anyone from the MVA regime. Also present were Krishna Kokde, Emily Pravin Dutke, MLC, MP Dr. Vikas Matme, Advocate Dharampal Mishra, Chairman of Law Committee, NMC, and others. Well, that's all from this bulletin. For more updates, you know, and around the city, stay tuned with NBC News. Till then, Ratnaka says goodbye. Please take very good care of yourself and family.